Ontario colleges are bypassing union reps and taking their offer directly to teachers. Talks between the college employer, council and ops who broke down on Monday. Faculty members will vote next week between November 14th and November 16th. Their union is re recommending they reject the offer. Teachers and other staff have been on strike since mid-October. Now stuck in the middle, of course, are half a million students. Ontario colleges are bypassing union reps and taking their offer directly to teachers for the latest developments. Or Marianne Domain is outside Humber College with the latest. Marianne. Good morning, Carolyn. Yes, a mass picket scheduled for Humber College here. And joining me now is um, Anne, who is a teacher here at Humber College, as well as Stacy, who's the VP of the Humber uh, Faculty Union. Uh, so let's talk first about your sign, no and no. It says it all, but why was it important for you to be here despite what happened on Monday? Um, it's important for me to be here to support my colleagues and to make it clear to the colleges that the offer that they are forcing us to vote on is totally and completely unacceptable and they're presenting it to us in bad faith. They walked away from the negotiating table, they're not presenting the off the, the terms that they negotiated with the union, they're presenting the offer that they arrived with the, to the table at on November the 6th. So all of the negotiating they did, they have ignored and they've walked away from and it's unacceptable. And Stacey, for you organizing this mass picket today, what is the statement you're hoping this sends to the colleges? Well, we're trying to indicate our extreme dissatisfaction as to what has just taken place. This is harmful for the students, number yeah. one. It's harmful to the colleges overall. And as was just said, we feel that there, we were close to an agreement, yeah. a negotiated agreement, which is the right approach, on Monday, and the colleges and college council decided to try to force a vote rather than continuing to negotiate and reach a settlement that would get the students back in the classroom in a much more speedy yeah. manner. Now we're delayed at least another week and maybe longer because of this vote. And what does that mean for students? What does it mean for students? Well, it means the classes are going to be delayed by at least another week or two. Uh, I was actually on Monday talking with my colleagues down at the Lakeshore campus thinking, uh, I think I'll be back at work on Monday and thinking, like, well, how am I going to do this? Okay, how will I rearrange my classes to make sure I reach the learning outcomes and make sure they get the skills they need to get? And within an hour, finding out that they were forcing us to vote on an offer that is clearly unacceptable. And, and what students and, and, and families need to understand is that the, the offer that we've been forced to vote on is that one that will erode the quality of education that students will, achieve, will receive at colleges across the province because they're trying to erode the full-time faculty jobs. Those are the people who develop the curriculum, those are the people who develop the programs, those are the people who really guide the students through the programs themselves, supported by our really fabulous partial load contract and sessional staff. All right, thank you so much for talking to us this morning, Anne and Stacey, and of course, this vote is going to take place next week, sometime between November 14th and 16th. The union, though, is saying that they are advising the members to reject no, as and sign says as for the province they say at this point there are no plans for them to step in i'll send it back to you ontario colleges are bypassing union reps and taking their offer directly to teachers for the latest on the developments let's go to our marianne main who's outside humber college marianne Good morning, Carolyn. We know that the union rejected the college's latest offer just before talks broke down on Monday, but staffing, uh, uh, striking faculty, I should say, will be voting on this latest offer next week. Now, joining me now is Lee, who's a political science teacher here at Humber College. You're now here uh, en masse with the others uh, picketing here. Why was it important for you to be here, and what is your message? Well, I think that um, what we're here for is to really improve the education for students um, at Humber and across the college system. And I feel like there are a lot of decisions that are maybe not being seen in the public that really impact our ability to teach. I feel like there's a real misallocation of resources, at the, uh, certainly in the college system where there is money being spent on building new parking lots, putting in flat screen televisions, but not on reducing class sizes, not on hiring full-time teachers, not on doing the things that really are going to impact the quality of education. And I mean, I'm frustrated to be on strike. I want to be teaching. I love my job. I love my students. But if I'm thinking about the long game, what's education going to look like in Ontario in 5, 10, 15 years? We really need to get this right. And I really feel like the way to do that is to have highly skilled teachers in the classroom being paid a fair wage to do a good job for students. And I just don't think that the way we're organizing it right now is doing that. 
we are not graduating the kind of quality educated students that companies, businesses in this country need. All right, and let's take a look at your sign. That's it says right. still no, and the union is saying the union members will be voting no next week. Well, certainly that's the position that the union has taken. Um, they're suggesting that we vote no. Obviously, any member can look at the contract themselves and decide. Um, I'm certainly going to be voting no because I feel like uh, the whole bargaining process has been really cynical. Um, our employers did not sit down for three weeks uh, with our union to talk about uh, the issues that are outstanding. The only reason that I can see to do that would be to wear us down, to sort of uh, uh, cause division within our ranks, and we are not here for any other reason than to make things better. So, look. If they're not going to provide the kind of structural changes that we need to make education the best it can be for our students, then we have a duty to vote no. All right, Lee, thank you so much for talking with us this morning. And that is the kind of emotion that you will get when you talk to the faculty here. This is the group here, more than 100 already here, hundreds expected throughout the morning. And we will be here as well. I'll send it for you, back to you now, uh, Carolyn, in the meantime. Ontario colleges are bypassing union reps and taking their offer directly to teachers. For the latest on developments, or Marianne Maine is standing by outside Humber College. Marianne. Well, Carolyn, more than 100 people are now here outside of Humber's North Campus this morning. It is a mass picket, and a lot of them wearing signs that say no. The answer is still no. Joining me now is Leanna. You work here at Humber College. Why is, or what is the mood here this morning? The mood here is really good. Everyone's really banded together, solidarity. We've been out here. It's the fourth week. We're not backing down. We're not stopping. Um, what we've been offered is not... What we've been asking for, they're skirting around the issues, they're not actually addressing what we're looking for. As a partial load faculty, we get paid for classroom time and nothing else. No marking, emails, preparation. Um, it's not that we want more money, we want to get paid for the work that we do. Bill 148, that's what it's all about. They're ignoring it and we're here to say we're not going to take it. Your union had already rejected this offer before the talks broke down Monday. Now there's this vote <laughs> that uh, you have to vote on the contract. Uh, next week, the union saying its members will vote no. What do you think? They're going to vote no. And now we've wasted another, what, seven to ten days when they could be negotiating, coming back with a better deal. Maybe next week, voting and getting us back. And of course, students stuck in the middle. Yeah, they're, start, they're really starting to get anxious. We feel bad for the students, but this is actually going to help the students by having staff that are paid for the work they do, academic freedom for people, uh, more full-time positions, more steady contracts in terms of, you know, partial load. We go semester to semester. So you might be partial load one semester and then you're not the next. There's no guarantees. So more consistency, better for students. Thanks so much, Leanna, for talking to us this morning. And at this point, the province saying they are not planning to step in just yet. As for that vote, it's happening between November 14th and 16th. This picket here will be uh, happening throughout the morning outside of Humber's North Campus. Carolyn, I'll send it back to you. All right, thank you, Marianne. Another news this afternoon, Ontario colleges are bypassing union reps and taking their offer directly to the teachers. Talks between the College Employer Council and OPSU broke down on Monday. The faculty members will vote next week between November 14th and November 16th. Their union recommending that they reject the offer. We're trying to indicate our extreme dissatisfaction as to what has just taken place. This is harmful for the students, number one. It's harmful to the colleges overall. Teachers were gathered outside Humber College's North Campus this morning, and many we spoke to say the offer from the college, the colleges, is unacceptable. Teachers and other staff have been on strike since mid-October. Half a million students are still waiting for their semester to resume.